Well, hello there. This is Super Anti Guy, and I will be doing the second level of Drill Dozer by Game Freak called Skulker Factory. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so, yeah, she escaped from there, and now she's in the factory on the surface. I guess try and find something. The diamond that they stole from them, according to the people in the van. It's one of those spring enemies again. There's a hidden thing up in this wall. Some money. Yeah, it's a lot. It takes a lot longer to drill for stuff when you're when you only have gear one. All right, so I'll go through here. All right. So this golden jello block thing. It's like, see, it's like jelly. It squishes. You jump up and drill in it, and then you drill backwards and it makes you hop back. See, and you can get to higher places by doing that. See. And that's pretty useful, but I mean, it's pretty obvious what they want you to do with them when you see them, so. See, here's another one. There's another one. It's supposed to be used to hop up there, but once I get second gear, I'll be able to do that. I can't do it now, see? Second gear should be right here. There it is. Alright, so there's the second gear. I really like the idea of the multiple gears that they have. This whole game idea was weird, but I actually really like it. I'm enjoying myself playing it. It is a pretty easy game, though. Alright, so right up here is kind of like a mini boss. It drops enemies. And you just have to drill them. Once you drill the enemies, that thing goes down and you can drill into it. All the bosses in this game are kind of weird. They all have, like, holes you drill into. One of the bosses later in the game has, like, a screw that you can unscrew, which is pretty cool. And there he goes. That's it. I didn't really explain the health bar, not that that needs explaining, but you see, like right up there, the green battery thing, that's my health bar. And this thing there, that restores your health. But yeah, it's pretty rare that you'll run out of health in this game because you don't really get damaged too often and there's a lot of those healing things around that thing see last episode I used it to get around but it's not moving right now so I need to go find how to activate that which should be through the store here yeah these computers you can just drill through because apparently this gang also likes to keep money inside computer monitors. And look, there's more computer monitors in the ceiling there, which means more money. They store money in weird places, the skulkers. 
computer monitors and walls usually. Sometimes in big blocks that like to block the way. Alright, so right here is a good place to look. You press B, and you look down, and you see that there's a room below you, so. You drill. And you press B here, flip a switch, and that'll activate the uh, riding thing there. She used her whole body to push that switch. I guess it must be a pretty heavy switch. Got get more money from the computer monitors. Ah, uh, you know there's money in there. I don't want to bore you guys. All right, there's another one of those enemies that like shoots missiles. Now if I go up here, that thing should be activated. There it is. And I can get in and get across here. Another health thing. Not that I would need one. Those enemies remind me of slinkies. Not this one. The one that bounces up and down like a spring. Let's see if I can make this with the second gear. I yeah, see those jello blocks would be useful. Oh. Yeah, it's hard not to get damaged in this kind of situation. But I mean, it's really easy to recover, and you have a lot of health. Way more than necessary. Alright. There should be more money in those blocks, but yeah. I don't you guys know there's money in there, I don't need to bore you. Alright, so those things are propeller with like knives on them. They come down and you drill them. Like everything, you just you know brutally murder with a drill. There's more of the slinkies. I'll drill this, but it's not important. See, I'll show you. Uh, never mind. It's no. Um, I think later you can come back there, and you'll be able to get through. I guess I'll show you. I mean, this is a walkthrough, so. See up here, there's this block of money, and then that block, which would let me get up higher if I had the drill to break metal, but I don't. So you just continue on until you get that. Another slinky. Ah, cool. More humans that I get to brutally murder with a drill right into their stomachs. I love their faces when they get hit. Their mouth just drops open. Oh well, I don't need that. It's just money. Alright. You can break this if you want. That just restores your health all the way. And right here there's a boss. It's just like the boss in the other level, the tank, except there's two of them this time. Here it comes. That guy's like, fuck the police. Coming over here. Alright, and then another one comes up behind me. It's better to just concentrate on one. And just ignore the damage you take from the other one, because... 
see it just closes off before you get there. But yeah, ignore the damage you take from the other one because I mean you got plenty of HP in this game. There goes one. Now I can concentrate on this one. This is kind of an odd image whenever you damage a boss in this game when you have to drill in those holes. This is kind of a weird picture, them moving back and forth like that. Nah, I'm not getting good shots on them. Alright, next one should kill him. And there he goes. Moving on up in the factory. Okay, and there is more health. Now I'll break this table just because for the trouble they've caused me. Now I'll break their table. Ah, that thing is just like another lift. You see it? It's inside there. And you can ride it. And there's the third gear, which means. This game's got a lot more fun. Alright. The music changes when you get to third gear, if I didn't tell you that before. Alright, here we go. Now look. Slinky's work on stairs. Just like in the commercial, the Slinky's going down the stairs. You need to go into third gear to make it all the way over there. Ah, electric Slinkies. That's a dangerous toy that they never released. As you can see, I'm not really taking many precautions here because they're not really necessary with the amount of health they give you in this game. I'll just demonstrate a move here. Look, you duck down by pressing down and then press the A button to get through tight spaces. And look, more health. Alright, now there's an electric slinky on the stairs. <laughs> Just killed itself. These guys love putting the slinkies on the stairs. Okay, let's drill through their office. Watch the slinky. Ah, more health. Yeah, but that's partially the reason I picked to do this game is because of how easy it is. I wanted to uh, make my first real Let's Play on a fairly easy game so that I don't mess up that much or anything. But I plan on doing harder games like... Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, that's pretty... Er, not Metal Gear Solid, sorry. Metal Gear 2. I, I like... I prefer doing, like, older classic games, not newer ones. But, I mean, I may do some newer ones later. Alright, so there's that red diamond that we've been sent to get. What? Have you ever heard of knocking? There's a mysterious man. It drives me insane when people do that. 
Holy crap, it's an alien. The enemy gang is led by an alien? He's the evil mega boss of the Skulkers. <laughs> she needs to get a good look at him. That's the red diamond they stole from us. Don't they know that your mom left that to you when she died? I can't believe they would stoop that low. I'm sure they know that. <laughs> Only the most repulsive villain would do something like that. A villain? Ha! That's pretty rich coming from a gang of thieves. Whoa, he can hear my walkie-talkie? I guess we're kind of close. Never mind. Alright, so... Tough luck. I stole it fair and square. But if you really want it that badly... Nah, I think I'll keep it. Ta-ta. Dang, he's getting away. Go get him. I'm gonna break his desk just to piss him off. Yeah, screw you. I'm taking your money. Alright, I'm breaking down the door because she refused to open them. Let's take the elevator. Alright, so here comes the first real boss. Oh great, more health. Just what I needed. Alright, walk through this vent, and I'm on the roof, and this is where I fight the first real boss. There he is. Hey, shorty, I'm over here. Moo ha ha ha. Does he have a ponytail? What's going on there? Is this face green or what? Is he an alien? They should really explain that. If you want your precious red diamond back, you'll have to beat me. Alright, drill versus drill. I don't have much to work to worry about because that will never happen. Moo ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. Basically, I just drill stuff. Your drill is no match for my drill. This boss was actually somewhat hard the first time I fought him. But now I know exactly what to do, so... gonna blow up. Alright. You just gotta wait for him to drop his dr drill tail, and then you have a drill on drill fight. And I guess this isn't any better from putting the drill into a hole on the boss. Ramming the drill up against another drill. Alright, so there goes the drill and you think you beat him. But he's still got that machine, so. Here comes the part where you put the drill down his throat. Yeah, it's spunk, kid. I have to admire that. All the spunk in the world is going to save me now. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but that machine does look like a face, right? And that's a mouth. I figured out how to harness this awesome power of destruction. Mwahaha. Yeah. It's that thing that opens there. It looks like a mouth, doesn't it? And they have you drill into the throat of that mouth. Like, I mean, I'm trying to not see any innuendo in this, but I mean, it's getting pretty ridiculous now. And there he goes. You just ram it down his throat and, his, and explode. And that explosion looked like it would have killed everyone and destroyed the building. But, you know, we're both fine.
That was pretty impressive for a pink-haired, ponytailed, red dozer. You beat me, so I guess I have to give you back this red diamond. Yeah, right. Ha. Huh. Well, I can go into to the go to the trouble to steal it, only to give it away. Moo wa ha ha ha. No, the evil laugh. There it goes. All right, so area cleared. So there's also a store that you can go to. And uh, this video seems pretty long already. I don't know if I should. Uh, it doesn't take long to explain. I'll just explain it in this video. After this. Oh no. Crook Red Diamond. He thinks they're going to the art gallery. I'd never seen him before. Who was that? You know, you don't know him? He's an old buddy of mine that runs the shop. They're talking about a guy who's not the boss I just bought. You should grab as many chips as you can while you're roaming around. That's what they call the money. Then you can spend them at his shop to buy all kinds of great stuff. You can buy energy tanks for him to upgrade your drill dozer. So, yeah. Alright. So, he pretty much just explained the shop to you. So, thanks for watching. The shop's right here. Right there. That's the only thing available in energy tank. Alright, so, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time with the museum.